all right thank you this is the funniest emulator I have and I need to move by this you know what uh, let me do control F11 okay this looks better so okay this is just to flip the phone you can do your testing by pressing the control F11 that when you flip your phone that how how, how your things looks like okay so this setting tab was hidden under under the hood so you, you see here uh, there's nothing over here except the cache database and lib okay I go here and remember that what, what I did to have the preference is just that XML file okay and I what I have done additional to that is pressing on the setting button this comes something called preference activity and it send an intent to the preference activity to start and there's nothing again one line code which is this right again I need to I think okay uh, just create a new intent which goes to the te perf class and start activity te perf and you have seen that what is te perf is nothing again a very small class which says that add reference from resources from the perf file which which you made you know through the eclipse uh, going back to over here so i set setting and this nice gui comes free of course for me i don't need to do any programming for this email i say here Deepak, okay, gmail.com, save. The moment I save it, let's see what happens behind the scene. There's a one more directory called shared perfs. So let's go to shared perf. I have one more XML file created automatically for me. I absolutely need not to do anything to I don't I don't want to decrease the phone now oh. okay so I'm showing you in this tough way okay this, e, this 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 XML file was created and this has put my name Deepak at gmail.com by itself right and I'll show you once again so that you believe me and I'm not faking something ABC one two three I say okay again I say cat and I have now two entries. That's it. Your preference are saved. You're good. You don't need to do any database. You don't need to do property, reading from the file, making sure that it's working or not working. It's simple. All right. So that's it from the, from the demo perspective. I hope that now you can go home and uh, send some cool app to, and, to Andrew. Uh, uh, let me see if I am leaving anything. Uh, uh, just a quick check. I showed you this. Other tools. Okay. Uh, if you guys are interesting, I will quickly show you this DDMS, what it does. I already showed you that ADB shell, you know how it was. Logcat. This is very, very important uh, thing to know that. And especially when in the beginning when we are learning about the life cycles of this activity and how packaging manager does what happened behind the scene it's very important for us to know so what you do simply if you go to your Eclipse and here if you open this DDMS perspective this DDMS perspective you first you should look for this device tab and in device you will see that all the listed emulator and if your device is connected to which I'm going to connect now you don't need to hurry. Yeah, I think everybody's really enjoying this. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. You know what? It seems like my, my, my device got an intent, a broadcast event, which, which was registered by two services. One is dialer, and the other is a Skype out. And now this is asking me that which one to choose. Now, the folks, those who don't, cannot see in the back end, I'm going to show them that if the phone is not rooted, you can still take the picture. Okay, so here, happy face. Okay, so this, this is the picture that came from, from the emulator. I need to click on this and take the picture. There you go. And uh, our screen is not happy so you can load it and you can see that 
these are the two in, the intent I received and this has been received by these two activity and they're saying hey I want to use I want to serve and then you can choose which one you want to use anyway I will go ahead and show you that you know how do you see the the, the lock cat this is all the lock is coming right you can do the filter verbose debug I and all that but more important thing I would show you that when you launch something you know let's see the real device you know why, why to emulator okay this is a real device okay and I'm doing some action on this the moment I do some action now okay now I will bring the phone up you see all this notification services and power management services they comes up and do something now let me try to bring the application I wrote uh, the demo for the demo which is trust expert and you see the activity manager is coming into the picture you see activity manager came a different state so different thing is happening what will, what will happen when you're developing an application right now you see too many things because too many process going on in the phone in the emulator you have control so you can pretty much see that how your application and you click on that you see this is uh, from the emulator so my emulator is funny big enough <laughs> too big to, sh to leave the space open but, but I can try that you know not very good you can do all this experiment at home but more important thing to know here is that Logcat will give you a detailed information about what's going in the back end and you should certainly look at it and you will be, I'm sure that with these messages you will be able to figure out what's happening all right and other than that it comes out with a standard tool which you as a Java developer would be using when you do multi uh, threading and all those things like uh, access the thread access the memory heap access the uh, allocation and all that so these are the pretty good tools for you to play with you know, uh, in the heap and allocation tracker uh, so when you click on this and you can take the dump of heap and you can uh, you can you can you can watch in detail uh, I will not go in detail right now uh, other thing is the file explorer it comes which is uh, good for you and the funny part is that what happened that when I was about to give my phone to to sprint the store uh, they said that sir we don't guarantee anything for your backup and I was just starting this thing and I said okay so how do I take the backup say that uh, we cannot help you have to do it by yourself download some app which will do that and then the same night I came back and I saw that file export is right there I just said, simply right click and copy all the files and it's all out there <laughs> it's pretty good pretty easy you simply go here you know and, and push the file into the mobile or out of the mobile you have all the data with you you don't need to worry about downloading any software or syncing and all that so uh, this is file explorer what else the threading you can do is a general usual thing your system out.com on the console you're loving uh, console same thing and all that all the stuff now now how to put the stuff into the lock cat is by so, so the good news is you don't need to use any more log 4G logger. If something is already created for you, which is simply log. The class called log. You do log dot d and put the message. That's it. You don't need to do anything else. It's all done for you. All right. Uh, screen capture. I have showed you heap threading on device debugging. Good news for uh, on device debuggers. Uh, those who want to debug their application on device. Same thing you just go ahead uh, and uh, here and go to the view sorry Java view and right click and the debug that's it you will be asked where you want to debug and you say I want to debug one device and you say okay and then it will package application into APK 